Gary, you must be delighted. Oh, thoroughly delighted with the players. I thought it was a good game, first and foremost. I thought both teams tried to win it, tried to play it in the right manner. I think Inverness had as many chances as us. Each goalkeeper had as many good saves as the other one. I think a draw, if I'm being honest, would probably have been a fair result. But there's been a couple of times that we've played Inverness over the last season and a half that they've had a wee bit of luck and maybe got a result that didn't deserve. So maybe it's just balancing itself out. But great credit to the players. 1-0 no, eh, no down with 20 minutes to go. Not just to come back and I'd have settled for a point then, but to actually get the three, you know, great credit to them. If you look at it, it was actually one down with 10 minutes was to it go. 10? Well, I, mean, I suppose, yeah. And uh, But we never really changed much. We slightly changed tactically. But... Uh, I think the, this week the credit has to go to the players. You know they were the ones that had belief that they could get back in the game. You know if you look at it, we've got one left, our left backs crossing the ball in the byline, and our right backs putting the ball into the net for a couple of yards. So it just showed their determination to get forward and try and get back into the game. A great way to start the new year as well. Yeah, as I say, we've been in good form. I think that's one defeat in nine games, but there's been quite a few draws in there. So we spoke about the importance of that today, that first making sure that we pick something up here because it's a difficult place to come and to think you've just got to come up here and get three points. It doesn't really happen. So we had to make sure that we got something on the board, but then we had spoke about the importance of trying to get some of these draws into victories. So the players took that on board. We spoke about our strengths as a team. You know, we know we've got Stephen and some individuals that have got great talent, but our strength as a team has been as a team, working hard. That's why we're had quite a good first part of the season and I think the team showed that again today the team ethic is staying together 1-0 doing away to Inverness no folding no buckling staying together determined to get ourselves something out of the game I think that showed that's what we're about really it's, I know we've got the top top goal scorer second top goal scorer and people that have got great individual ability but I think the biggest thing we've got at the club is that everybody wants to work together and work hard for the team That takes Stephen to the 30 mark yeah. for the season so just as it turns a new year? Yeah, well, I'll maybe have a wee bet when we see if we can get to 50 or something. But, no, it's great to have him back. Um, I tried to play it down when he wasn't there, but it's hard to it's hard to say that you don't miss him, you know. And He gets a goal, you know, he was he was twisting and turning. It just wasn't breaking for him today, and they were maybe hitting off of their legs and going back to the goalkeeper. But, in theory, the, and, and the one chance he got, and he got away from him, he finished it, and he hit it low back across the goalkeeper quite quickly and I think that caught the goalie out who had already had a couple of magnificent saves. And a couple of other players coming in, Nicky and Barry both making their debut. I thought Nicky was excellent. I was very surprised that he lasted as long as he lasted. But I think he's happy to just sit there and get on the ball and keep things ticking over. He always tries to look forward, which is a plus. You know, you've got a lot of players in the midfield there that want to go sideways or backwards. His first thoughts to try and get turned and go forward which should suit people like Stephen and Lyndon who are making forward runs. But even I thought he was firing into tackles and that, you know, and you hear the fans chanting his name already. I'm pretty sure he's got to become a fan's favourite. But delighted with him. And then young Barry as well, you know, predominantly a centre half. I said that when we signed him, but we've put him on the hold in midfield there for the last five minutes. And he's won his headers and that experience will do him good. Take a few, away a few nerves that he's got. <coughs> and he'll, uh, he'll push on for there, hopefully. Nicky was actually telling us... But it's touch and go whether he was going to play or not. Yeah, to be fair for Nicky to put that in, I forgot about that. He had, uh, had a little bit of sickness and diarrhoea last night. And uh, up until about 11 o'clock this morning at pre-match, we were probably touch and go whether we were going to take a risk with him. Just, if he had probably been fully fit playing all season, you'd have, it would have been 100% when they just played him. But we're not playing for a couple of months. Then to have a sickness bug on top, we weren't sure if it was worth the risk. But the wee man wanted to play. And uh, I'm, I'm delighted he did because he put in a really big performance for us, as did all the lads. And on a personal level as well, you, that's you broke your duck against yeah, Kelly. I do uh, like, I don't like teams getting the better. He still get, slightly got the better of me. We've played seven times, four, four draws, two wins to him and one to me. So I need to try and get win the next game. But no, just really good, you know, when you look at the other results on the table, because you do when you come in now. It's, it's been a good day for us. We've, we've closed the gap on the third place team. Not let Morton get any further away for us after their excellent result last night and opened up a wee couple of points on Aloe and I think uh, another couple of points on Partick Thistle. So, all in all, it's been a good day's work for us. You talked there about the, the game last night, Ross County. They're up next. I, it's, I think when I was up doing the BBC interview, they said, oh, it's another hard game next week, but 
how is Ross County any harder than Inverness or how is Dundee any harder than Ross every game that we're on is a difficult game and that's what we're saying if we can just turn some of these draws into wins because one defeat in nine games is a good run at this level you know so the players deserve a bit of credit for that but they'll start getting the credit and getting noticed more if they can get more victories rather than draws obviously sometimes you go away from home a draw is a good result and you know a draw here even before the start of the game would have been a good result to get a win as you say 10 minutes to go and you're 1-0 down is excellent so We'll enjoy it, you know, the players have worked hard there, we've got a few in there with knocks and that, but I think you shouldn't forget about your aches and pains when you get a victory and the journey down the road doesn't seem as long, so, you know, we had a good fall on today, I'm, I'm aware that most of them are staying up in Inverness and having a night out, so hopefully they'll enjoy their night because their support was it was excellent today. Just touching on Ross County again, the fact that they did lose against Morton might just you know they want to get back to winning ways again. Yeah, so. and they've got a few, they've they've got a few injuries, and they're just struggling to get a settled team. So hopefully we can capitalise on that. The players shouldn't, they should be really confident going into the game. We've played Ross County twice. There's been nothing between the teams, so we certainly don't fear them. We're aware that they've got a really strong squad. But as I say, I really enjoyed watching the players today. Like sometimes you stand the side and you're biting the nails and stuff like that. But even at one 0 down. We continue to try and do things the right way. Obviously, we've spoke as a team in there about things that we need to try and do a wee bit better. Some things when the ball went forward, we didn't squeeze up enough, we didn't pick up second balls. But in the main, we put on a good performance. You know, that's that's as good as we've played in a few weeks. So hopefully we're just going to hit a wee bit of form now and go on a run at the right time.